<laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your boy troll and in today's video we're gonna discuss about elena now elena is basically one of the very few supports or healers in the game actually and as you know uh she's not that great early game obviously i really don't recommend building her early game because either she heals or she buffs or she does a little bit of damage but she's just not that great early game i think and i believe that she would become insanely strong late game where basically your heroes don't get one shot at every single time someone touches them because let's be like honest right now right if i go into the campaign right now and i put elena it doesn't matter if one of my backliners get touched or is like there's a super combo coming into his face he'll get one shot at no matter what so the heal after i got one shot it will be completely useless however since now we have this amazing you know draft mode once again back at it again i hope well, they will never ever stop this because this is just the best game mode ever you can basically not infinitely you have three yeah you have three times per day to change your team and test a few things around now i'm out of my moves right now basically what i tried to do is to build a tank team with elena so it would have been like i don't know honda into adel abel and maybe um i don't even know like what tank actually buffs which of the tanks buffs uh i know there should be one of the tanks that puts a shield on everyone no no but you're no uh -uh. this one <clears throat> ah there you go so grants ultimates a shield that blocks one hit yes what is the best chance to stun no this and this is the female stun. This is a stun equal to again. This one, I think this one. No, it was the nearest one. No, I think also damage sharing. Which one has like buffs? No one has buffs. You? No, I don't think you have any buffs. I don't think, I know that there's someone putting defense up and stuff like that. Which one was it? Maybe him. But anyway, basically what I wanted to do is, again, put a beast, put some tanks into it, uh, bison as well, and put Elena into the draft. Because right now I don't think the team is tanky enough basically to demonstrate the strength of Elena, even though, even though she's still very good but we can basically see that well once you have i know level 300 or even 250 i think it starts to be okay but yeah once you're triple s level 300 that's when elena finally comes to shine because her heals are finally not useless because since you cannot get one shot it you're actually gonna benefit from the healing because you're gonna actually get healed and not she won't be healing a team that's either full hp or healing someone that's already dead so it's pointless right so yeah i was trying playing around many of the teams i went against that had elena were very difficult and it was very hard to go through them because again we have the firewall in this draft mode right so eventually it's kind of cheating but look at those heels like like this is like proper one combo like yeah this like she, she those the heal that she did at the beginning like that they should be if they don't push me against the wall i will yeah there you go no that's the potatoes boom elena and everyone is full hp again it's insane like elena's hp recovery later in the game once we actually have the hp to recover it's so strong so now again we're gonna be healing everyone now this is the problem because we're gonna go against the wall so she comes in and boom again healing Now the problem is that I am against the wall, but other than that, should be fine. No, no, no. Yeah, the wall screwed me over. But again, like I said, this team is really not I want I had in my mind. Uh, I don't have Beast, which is a problem. And I don't have like Honda as well, which is also a problem in the draft mode. 
but yeah elena as you saw her heels are just so strong like actually i'm not gonna to put madriu let me change let me change we're gonna put we're gonna not put madriu we're gonna put viper we're gonna put viper yeah I'm gonna put Viper because going against this Bison every single time, Madryu is just not the best. When you when all of your attacks go into Bison, it's kind of useless. So Madryu against a Bison, unless you like catch off guard an enemy that is in the back line and going into the front line, it's not the greatest, not the best. So let's see, we're gonna go like that. So we're gonna go into AoE. Heal, AoE, AoE. Let's see like that. Now, I don't... Maybe... I think Bison's... Yeah, I think Bison's AoE third damage is better. Because you push them into the wall, right? I don't know, honestly. But again, we are here just to see Elena's heals, which are super, super insane. Now, like I said, she also has a defense up and attack up on her S2. But I just don't think the duration of it is good enough to basically be good. So I truly believe the heals are just way better. Okay, now I need to start recovering, please. So Elena comes in. Look at those heals. Like, like, like it's basically if their first combo combination has completely missed. Like, insane. Okay, go in. Already someone from their team died there, I think. Yeah, the problem the problem is I'm getting pushed into the wall constantly. So obviously this doesn't help at all. But I think we should be good here. Maybe not. Oh, maybe, maybe spam it, spam it. Okay, I should be, okay. <laughs> but yeah, again. Elena, insane heals. If the wall wasn't there, they would never win against me. Basically, if you go against one, you have one team and another team, and if they are on the same level and game, obviously, and one of the teams will have Elena and one will not have Elena, well, eventually the Elena team will win because she will out heal, out basically tank the team without Elena. Uh, unless you literally go in and just one shot by by one because you have that damage advantage or whatever you can't win with a team where there are tanks and elena into it it's just impossible uh let's do one more we're gonna do the, her buff now defense up attack up just to check if it's really worth it or not but it also depends against what team you're going but let's see, we're gonna put this time him. Again, I really don't like this team combination. I was just looking for Bison and Elena, and it's really hard to get all together. Um, so this time we're not going to go for Blanca. Let's go with Rose, actually. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a triple coral color combo. Even though I really don't think it's good. We're gonna put her, her, her. Yeah, we're gonna put her on buff right now. So let's see how she works on buff. Now, the defense up obviously will reduce the damage you're taking, but I just I just think the heal gives you way more than the defense up. So let's see now. Again, like millions of healing. Millions. Okay, we start. Okay, so now, boom, we have the defense up. I guess, nah, but I, it's, I know, like, yeah, and the defense up, it's gone. <laughs> I just think, no, the heal is just way better. You cannot compare the heal uh, to the defense up. It's just not worth it. They are getting destroyed, though, huh? Oh, see, he has Fashion Sakura, no way. Well, it's a bit... Yeah, but without Bison, it's just... You can't win this, this game mode without Bison. You can't... Like, don't even try. Like, without Bison, it's just impossible. Yeah. But yeah, guys, I mean... I really think, like, any single support healer in this game will, first of all, will be insane with Bison or any other tank. And also, end game. Like, I know, you know, early... 
we thought that Elena would be insane in this game because uh, again she's a healer and there's not a lot of healers but yeah when we went into the campaign we started getting one shotted and Elena didn't even have a time to give us one heal well very quickly we understood that it's not worth it but now thanks to the draft mode we can clearly see that she will have a place in the end game team and end game team but we just need to get there first so for sure keep your copies of elena don't build her straight away but once you have like a proper team of sss heroes you can then start looking into building elena and giving that support to your team so they basically if they don't get one shotted they have a chance to recover eventually but yeah guys it was your boy troll i don't want to make this video any longer uh, let me know what do you think in the comments and i will see you in the next video guys ciao yeah. <laughs>